Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well here's the two horse wheat spindle that I harvested this morning. And you know I cut these two flower heads off of it. And I was thinking this would be a good opportunity to use the bundled spindle technique on these. When they dry out, I think I'll bundle them together and see if they'll work as a spindle for bow drive. Alright, the horseweed flower heads are nicely dried out. And it looks like every single one of the flowers has opened up. So, uh, now, I'll be binding this um, bundle spindle together with tape. Uh, if you want to do this more primitively, you could use natural cordage. Leave one of these pieces of the stalk intact and sticking out the top. There would be ways to do it primitively, but uh, I'm just going to do it with electrical tape. ended up with get all the blossoms off of those little tiny branches now I think I'll take and break this part off and not use that. And this, I'll use the thickest part. Now, now I'll bind this up as tightly as I can and see what we come up with. Now, if it's too long, it'll be too flexible, so I'll have to pick just the right place to cut it and then decide which, way, which end I want to use for the hot end. I'm thinking this would be a good hot end right here. Alright, this is what I've decided to do. It looks like I can tape this up. I'll break this off. I could tape this up to a point and it'll fit into my bearing block. And on this end, I just need to cut it off a little bit. Cut it off and shape it up. This would be the hot end. And I'll use this red oak fireboard. So let me go ahead and run the tape on up to the top. That top's a little bit off center. 
So let's just see how it works. Looks like it's going to go in there pretty good. We're ready to give it a try. Let me get set up on the ground and see if this bundle spindle works with the horseweed flower tops. You can't see the third stalk in there, but there was there's two of them that you can see. And I guess the other one is hidden inside those small branches. Let's give it a try. To get the kind of grip I think I'm going to need on this slick tape, I think I'll put three wraps on it. I got two tinder bundles here, so let's see if we can make two bow drill friction fires with this bundled spindle. Let's put one more wrap down here and we should have it. Let's try that. One two, three, three wraps. Three wraps. Tighten it against my leg. Tighten it against my leg again. Now I think we got it tight enough. Let's see what it'll do. Ain't much there, better get on with it. Whoa. All right. Let's try it one more time. I may not need to go 140 strokes on this next one. And yeah, I'll be getting down into the tape just a little bit, but I think it'll be all right. And the spindle is flexing a lot more than I was hoping it would. If I have to, I may have to, if I can't get this next one, I may have to cut it off right here. Yeah. Let's cut this down a whole lot smaller and it won't flex so much.
before I tape the nipple on the end of that, let me show you this cross section right here. As if the camera, if the camera will focus for me, looks kind of neat, doesn't it? That flower head all packed in there. The bundled spindle. Pull it against my leg. Gotta get it good and tart and tight. All right, let's give it a try. Tighten it up. Looks like I got an ember. Well, if I did, it just went out. Oh, I got the. Oh, I still got a number there. Let's go ahead and get a. Let's go ahead and get the flames out of it. The nipple on the top of that spindle gave out on me. So I wasn't going to be able to use it anymore until I put some more tape on it. So I was glad to see this little ember there. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Come on, flames. Oh, there they are. All right. All right. How about that? Now, a bunch of you purists and a bunch of you survivalists are going to say, Oh, he's working off a table and he's using tape and he's using a bearing and all that. I feel strong that this can be adapted to be a much more primitive way to do it. I'm just not willing to take all the time that it takes would take to wrap that up, to make cordage and wrap it up and secure a nipple coming out this end right here. But that's the bundled spindle technique. With the flower head of those two horseweed you saw me collect the other day. Alright y'all. Thanks for joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.